hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon so today we're going to talk about the basics of Click eCourse the platform itself is meant to host digital courses it's also meant for you to promote other people's courses and you can promote the platform as well and generate some income from that one of the reasons I created the platform is because I wanted a place to store my courses I want to be able to host courses and I didn't want to have to worry about the features of other platforms I didn't like and the simplicity and I wanted to make sure it was very basic but I also want it to be super advanced so in other words you can do some the the basics you can do is easy it's simple you just click a few buttons and you got a course right but if you want to have more advanced features you want to have um quizzes you want to have modules you want to have advanced content in your in your courses you can do that and there's still more features that I'm developing but you can if you want to know how to use the basics how to promote it how to put a course on there how to set up your account how to make sure that your uh, account is the is is properly set up to be you know a social and public and all that stuff we I can show you how all that works we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so are you wondering how to you know set up your account how to make sure that your profile is set up right how to make sure that you've got the right profile picture how to choose the profile picture how to how to choose your username what why it matters to have a proper username how to set up your um your account so that you can promote and generate some income what is it you need to do in your Click eCourse account to have all that and maybe you're wondering how to host your first course how do you upload a course how do you make the course available how do you make it visible in the in the list of courses uh, how do you set up the categories I mean all these things they it sounds really kind of complicated doesn't it but it really isn't that hard to do you just have to know what to do so we're going to show you that right now and let's get right to it so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here I'm going to show you uh basically we'll just go to the to a new incognito window right here and we're going to just set up a new account so let's just make sure this is a uh, right uh webcam there you go okay so I've got a new incognito window right here and I'm going to go to well, let's actually make this a little bit less make this more visible so you can actually see the url so I'm going to go to click ecourse.com all right so we're not going to show you how to uh, register an account like we're not going to go through the process but I'll just show you because I've done that so many other times you can look that up and if you have a question you can go to my blog at jsgagnon.com or jeansalsgagnon.com go look that up or even blog.clickycourse.com there's some uh, pages on there I'm, I'm actually wondering if that that's all good let's uh, go there blog.clickycourse.com you can actually see a couple of things it's oh uh, I got it I guess I have to fix that but uh in here you should have a a, a, a blog set up and also an introduction and <clears throat> that shows you I guess it's not going to the right place I've got to fix that but let's just go to clickycourse.com we were here right here and basically you go to Click eCourse you register an account and you just enter your name your email and password and then you'll send you an email and then you activate your account once you have your account activated you would log in to your account right so I'm going to log in here as one of my test accounts uh let's do tester hopefully that one's good because I, I should have probably checked a, a test account I could use no it's not a valid login I gotta clean up all these look at these these things right so but I think Frank is a good one so once you have an account yeah so Frank is a what is plan let me just make sure he's got the right plan or he's got information already filled in but he's on the free plan and he's got his share link you see how the share link is right there so how you do that is you go to your profile so the first thing you want to do is you want to set a profile picture obviously right so I'm going to choose a profile picture I'm just going to put something in my images here uh, images where's my images they're not sorted right now images images right here 
and I'm just going to pick something like this right so once I save that now my profile picture shows up as the profile picture right just to give it a second here to upload so now you see the profile picture is there and also up here uh can we see that no we can't see that let me just resize this a little bit so you can see on the side yeah so over here you also see that the profile picture is updated there so that's the first thing you want to update your profile picture make sure that is one of the things that happens too is that if you go to the news right here you're going to see that it shows that the user updated your profile picture that also shows that also shows in the feed but not automatically the feed will show other people's stuff there's other things that go on in the feed but it, it you're the the content that shows up in the feed is based on the user that accessing it and it's all based on an algorithm and all that kind of similar to Facebook where the the view is going to be based on what you've what you've seen already and how many interactions are going on and anyways it's this whole algorithm I'm not gonna I can't really explain it because I'm not I don't it changes so I'm not exactly sure it's based on AI and all that so yeah okay so that's the first thing you got to do you choose your profile the other thing you want to do is you want to set your display name so the display name is what shows up everywhere like in the feed for example when I look here I can see that Kim Seymour has said I mean well that's probably something we want to get out of there but um her her uh, <laughs> her driver's license was set up as her profile picture but anyways any of these things you can see right here Albert Zalo Jean-Serge Gagnon um and Jean-Serge Jean-Serge Gagnon right so those those are your display names so whatever you set as a display name is what's going to show up here so if I was to if I was to change my uh my display name right now it says come on right now it says Frank FXOS so that means anything I do when I look at my news it's the same thing as what would be in the news feed it says Frank FXOS updated his profile picture right okay so here's the other thing some of these things like your display name uh, your bio some of these things will show up in the feed when you change them it's it's based because it's a it's a public uh, it's a public uh, uh, system you can change certain things to be private like for example if I go in here in my details this is my address my city postal codes all those things they don't show up in your in the in the feed they're private right and if you click on any of these or just mouse over it you see what it is but if you click on it, it pops up a little thing it says here um it's important to keep it accurate and it says a required field to maintain uh let me see uh by make by making it public so it's a private field by default by default this is not a public profile field but you can make it public uh if it's not public which is the default nobody can see it right but if you wanted to make it public you there there's and this is actually a feature that's not in mail I probably should fix that but uh, right now there should be a little field next to it that says whether it's public or not that's something I had actually implemented a while ago and I kind of took it out and I forgot to remove it from the from the the pop-up here so the date of birth is the same thing right it's uh it's not a public field and there's certain fields that are never public like your email I believe or maybe it's maybe it is used to sign up uh it's only display person only visible to you you can't change it so that's the email address you use to log in right so these are things you can do in these little question marks you can kind of see what they're about I go back to basic which is where you end up when you just click on your profile picture you can set in here your first name your last name your username so now the next important thing is your username so your username is what the system identifies you as for internal links for sharing referrals for promoting courses all that kind of stuff is your username that's it by default it's user id right or it would be user 34 in the case of frank here <laughs> that's the default it shows up as when you first set up your account it'll be user 34 or whatever your user id is your user id is something you can't change it's your system generated and it's when you register your account you get an id nobody nobody sees that or has access to that uh, it doesn't really matter nobody can do anything with it anyways right but the username is what users what you will use to share the site to share the profile to share other courses all that kind of stuff right and so you can't have so it's got to be unique so if you try to set it to frank right now it won't let you because there's already a frank in the system 
I could probably change this to frank test because I don't really want frank to be uh used uh so I can do this I can change this to frank test and as you can see right up here the share link says frank clickycourse.com so that means that if I share if I send you the link frank.clickycourse.com instead of just ww or just clickycourse.com you're going to get cookie to me or to frank and you're going to get to um how can I put this you're going to be cookie to to that person or the person's going to be cookie to you until they sign up an account once they sign up an account they're tied to you doesn't matter what other link they click they're your kind of referral right they're your referral so if they ever decide to pay for a monthly uh, account or they decide to buy a course that they haven't uh the courses are special because some you can still promote a course in the system and get a commission for it even if the person is already ha uh, have an account referred to somebody else the only way for so the courses they're made it's made that way because you never know who <laughs> is going to have the best explanation for a course right if you explain a course really well you should be getting the commission for not just not somebody else just because they referred them to the to the platform right you are the one that's explaining it you're the one that's helping them to understand the course you're the one that's promoting that particular course let's say it's a thousand dollar course and you get five hundred dollars in commission well shouldn't you get that commission even the person has an account in the system already yeah you should so that's kind of how that's how that's why that works like that but for the first for being on the platform the first time somebody gets on the platform whether it's through buying a course or through just getting in a free account set up the person who refers them is mm -hmm. referred to them by for life so uh look at that anyway so it's that person will get um commissions for monthly fees now you don't have to have a monthly fee you don't have to pay a monthly fee on this system it can be free but if you decide to go for the upgrade where you get more you get more commission you get more you can host more courses you could you, there's a some features that aren't available on the free account that you get that kind of stuff <laughs> if you decide to do that then the person who referred to you the person who referred you will get a commission from the sale right so but this is what this is the frank test right here so as you can see it says frank right here I'm going to change it to frank test and you're going to see the link is going to change now to frank test <coughs> so it's very important to set that because if you don't as you see right here it's frank test net right and well I just clicked the link I didn't mean to do that um so it's frank test now right and that you got to be careful you got to make sure you set that up in the beginning so that it's right because as soon as you if you ever change it then any links you sent to other people will go to a you know unknown so it'll end up um, on uh, referral with no referral right unless somebody else uses let's say I, I had frank and I sent frank to a bunch of people and then I decided to change that to frank live or something right then anybody and then somebody else signs up an account and their name is frank and they decide to choose frank then that means that any of the old links that you sent to people if they decide to click on them the other guy is going to get it not you right because they don't they don't have the frank live they just have the original link right so it's important for you to make sure that you set that right um the other thing is you're trying to build a business online you're trying to be you're trying to be a promoter right so you have to have all this set up you got to have your right you display name you got to have your right username you got to have your right profile you should have a, a, a bio here the bio so I'm I'm just here for fun testing the platform right so for me this is a test account this is just a test account with a test account actually I'm going to make this uh I'm actually going to make this a, a useful text I'm going to say just a test account for training purposes right <laughs> I'm going to save that <clears throat> and now now here's the way it works right so if somebody can I I guess I can use uh Firefox I'm going to open up another window that isn't going to have um so I'm going to go with, because I want to show you I don't want to do that okay so I just gonna go here I'm gonna go to this uh, this link copy link address now if I 
if somebody goes to my link this is what they see right hopefully this all works right I I the other day I had an issue with the the the, the Lincoln but as you can see it's going to ww right and it's seeing about there's no indication anywhere here that they went to frank test.clickycourse.com but if they click on register hopefully this works there you go see you were referred by frank fxos so that means that once you log in and you set up the account you're going to be referred for life to frank fxos the one the one that referred you right um let's see the other thing I wanted to show you is well actually here look if I click on this and I click on that it's going to take me to actually Frank's account I can see their profile picture if I go to about <coughs> I can see this is just a test account for purposes you can have a cover picture here by the way if I go here and I go into my about <coughs> I can change my cover picture so I click on change cover hopefully this works I haven't tried it in a while <laughs> that's the thing right so let's just uh, use the let's just use um let's just use this one doesn't really matter there's a certain size that's uh, that's better but uh, I'm just going to use uh here let's use this one there you go and then upload hopefully this works I haven't tried the upload of the cover photo in a while um this is actually a gif so I guess it didn't work did it no, it did work it just doesn't update it automatically so I got to fix that so now this is the cover photo of my account and if I go back to here and I and I'm I reload this page it's going to show me that image as the image and if I go to the feed as an anonymous user I'm not logged in yet I don't have an account yet you can see the things that are in the feed right here right so new courses that were added uh the uh, profile picture that was updated I click if I mouse over this I can see this I can actually see their their who they are who they are uh same thing with these ones Jean Serge added the lesson I can mouse over that so helping you create right that's my bio there the owner and creative click eCourse uh same thing with these I don't know if there's anything else uh, Jeff here is one of my uh, contacts so Jeff updated his profile he's saying this in French I guess I got to fix the characters the, the in French characters it's a bug to fix but that's um, other people on here my test account that's another account I have test account please ignore right so that's that's uh, what that does your cover photo you can change it here you can change your bio right here as well uh, the same as in basic under basic you can change your bio you can change your this is the same exact thing it's just your cover photo is on the about okay so now what else so videos courses news news is just showing the things you've done you can actually uh, post an update here in the news feed it's kind of like a status Facebook status you just go uh, testing status so this would be the the title and then in here you would say I'm just testing testing this account uh, in a live uh, episode and uh, number 213 I believe it is we said 213 uh, check it out check it out at HTTP <coughs> cis 213.com and then what I can do is I can actually make this a link I go like this I'm just copying it right now but I highlight it right I just do the whole thing check it out at right and I click on this little uh, world thing and I put the link right there I make it a blank target I want it to be in the sub I submit and now it's there now I have this that I can post it I save it like that now it's showing me right here and if uh, I'm a visitor I don't know if it'll show up here but let's see what happens did it show up as a new item oh look at that now I'm showing me testing this is a test new episode 213 I can click on that to go to the actual blog post which doesn't exist right now but it will later <clears throat> and it's trying to re resolve that uh oh that's not going to work I've got to yeah that's not going to work it's got to be HTTP not HTTPS because it's a uh, let me fix that actually there's no edit right now edits is not implemented so I got to delete it so I'm just going to put that back in here over here I'm just going to create a new one uh, and this is going to be 
http let's make the s out of there submit and let's take the s out of there there we go all right so I'm going to post this and I'm going to delete this one <coughs> okay now if I go back to the other page here this one should be gone <coughs> the other one will be gone well it's actually not there yet so I got to reload it might not show up in this uh, live oh no still yeah still not showing up live right now <coughs> reload no still not there okay but anyways it'll eventually show up and it'll be like this and I'll be able to click it and it'll go to this uh, blog post which right now doesn't exist it goes to my main home page right my main blog but that's uh, that's how you that's how you set up a, a post and update you can also do that if you go to the feed itself you can post an update here so uh, uh update post in the feed um hey how's it going I'm just showing how to use the feed in the uh, live episode cis213.json <clears throat> so I'm just going to make that a link here uh, over here I want this to be HTTP cis cis213 right so I make this like this I'm going to make it so if you don't set that as a target what happens is it loads it in the actual page you're on so you lose you kind of lose click ecourse and it goes to wherever that is right so what you really want is you want a blank target so that it forces it to load in a new tab right <coughs> so post now that now that's showing up here and if I go to the other one here it might be there I'm not sure yet <coughs> like I said it's an AI based algorithm so there you go so now it's got it here posted that's the that's not the one that I just posted in the live news feed it's just the one I posted on my own news feed right um that check it out one right so you check it out that's not the same as this one this one says just showing how to use the live feed right so if I if I go back here I can reload maybe it'll be there now it's, it's like I said there's a time thing right but there you go so update this how's it going so now this is the same as this right it's a link so that's how you can use the feed and the news feed and the posting in the in the platform in here you can see other posts you can actually you could like that's not oh there's nothing here if you're not logged in this will this will be blank right you got to log in <clears throat> to be able to comment and to be able to add but if I want to go here and I go in here this one here is Albert uh, comment why is this vi why is video important <coughs> uh and it's it says I can't watch this so I'm going to say add a comment I'm going to say uh should should be fixed now <coughs> uh if you want to watch to watch a video in a paid course you'll need to buy it first so that's I'm posting a comment here <coughs> on this person's comment I'll just go like this oh I guess there's an uh, that's a uh, that's I gotta fix that there's there's all these little things right but these are all kind of advanced features now let's go to the basics of the site right so say for example you want to create a course and you, like if I go to courses here oh and by the way before we go to that I want to give you one more thing about the basic setup over here like I said you got to have your display name you should have your profile picture you should have your username set first name last name and then a, a bio right a bio that explains who you are right but also you're going to want to go to the affiliate tab and you're going to want to activate your affiliate over here it's activated I said it's accepted on a certain date but for a normal user that it's a brand new account you're going to see uh something here that shows you how to um how to um what's the word I'm looking for how what you need to do to activate this you're going to have to have a, a PayPal account set up and then you're going to have to accept the terms <clears throat> there's another video another episode I did that kind of shows and if you're listening to the audio here what I'm showing here is the affiliate tab on Click eCourse when you log in you can go to the affiliate tab to activate your affiliate status that'll enable the share link that you can send to people and it also means that any courses 
I look at the courses here right uh actually the the top courses tab if I go to the courses <coughs> you're going to see whoops it didn't work okay you're going to see the list of courses that are available on the site right you're going to see the different courses that are there and you you can see um well if you enable the little price thing here you can see the prices of the courses right so this is like this was a test I did right three thousand dollar course uh, 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 with a deal right now at 97 dollars that that's until the 30th of December uh and the other courses that are there with different deals and that kind of stuff but if you look at something like I don't know TikTok master's course which is 200 dollars right if you want to promote that course if you go to that course right now you can see that it says right here that you get a 9850 commission and it shows right here a share this link now you can see that this link is franktest.clickycourse.com and then slash the actual course url which is the exact same thing as the course that's up the course url that's up here yeah, let's close this fellow the the url that's up here but instead of being www.clickycourse.com it's your user id so frank test in this case and the link is here so to make it easier but anything on the site you can just replace your, the www with your username your username is what ties you to the referral so that the system knows that you're the one who referred them and you're the one that'll get the commission right so you got to make sure that you got that set up right all right so let's say you want to create a course under courses <clears throat> you can see all the different courses that are there uh there's 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 a bunch of different courses you want to create your own course you can either click on where you can create over here it says you can create a new course now you can just click on that or in the little plus sign right there you can go to here and just click on course right and <clears throat> so over here in the course you give it a title so this is a test course for episode 213 and well actually let's put that in here in the actual the summary and let's take out the just make it short nice and short so I'm recording episode 213 at cis213.js.com and creating this test course now this is going to be obviously the details the summary and it's based on whatever your course is and I'm going to do in here and I'm just going to go like this and I'm going to create a link here too cis213 right same thing it's the same everywhere just do that click on next now it'll save that in here you can set a uh, search engine keywords test course online course click ecourse course hosting platform whoops platform so you can put any any keywords you can make them as separate lines as well so uh, course hosting e-learning e-learning course courses right so these are keywords so search seo is search engine keywords hashtags we don't actually use them yet but they're they're the hashtag things right where online course right click e-course right that kind of stuff click on next that'll save those the 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 seo are actually used uh I'll show you that um and if I go back here I actually just look at the page source you can see that under the uh, meta name description you have the description of what I just did and then you have the you actually have the seo keywords right there right and there's also a keywords thing right I mean it's all just <clears throat> yeah right here the script twitter description that's probably not maybe that's but it's already in there so that's going to be inside the actual page core the course uh, page right okay so then there's you can navigate here by just clicking on these uh, tabs if you want directly right um and you can also uh, click on done if you don't want to fill any of the rest because you really just need a summary the the title that kind of stuff to create a course you probably want to have a cover image so we're going to choose a file here 
and we're just going to put the same thing here just for fun of it next and if, now that it's now it's uploading so it's saving the actual image if I go back to cover image you can see that that's the image that is there right uh, the price let's just say I'm going to make this uh, uh I don't know 4999 I'm going to give 95 percent commission okay so by the way the price is whatever price you want it to be valued at I should probably fix that so it kind of shows because you can actually create a, a coupon to have it you know two thousand dollars if you want right which we'll show you in a second so this is turning into a longer episode because I want to cover this uh, better but let me just make sure I have uh... <clears throat> all right so um yeah so the price is the price the value I guess of the course it's not necessarily how much you want to sell it for it's the value of the course right the commission is how much of the sale price not necessarily the value that's there so that means that if you try to sell it for two if you decide to, to give a coupon for two thousand dollars you're not going to give them 95 percent of five thousand to whoever refers it it's going to be 95 percent of the actual two thousand dollars right and why would you want to give 95 percent versus 10 or 20 percent it really depends on your purpose but if you're trying to create a course to to grow your audience to grow your fans to get more people on your list you probably want to give away as much commission as you can because what you're interested in is growing your list not necessarily making money especially if it's a lower price course right but if it's a five thousand dollar course maybe you do want to make 50 percent of the sale right I don't know but you decide what percentage you the other thing you can do too is you can choose who gets a commission are you going to allow anybody who's who's got an account on Click eCourse to get a commission from your course just any free user right somebody who just created an account for the purpose of promoting your course maybe I don't know it's really up to you or are you going to want to have just people who pay the pay a membership fee the 10 or 20 or 10 25 50 or whatever the prices are for the different uh, memberships or are you going to allow only people who bought your course to promote it maybe that's that's what you want maybe you just want people who bought your course to promote your course because you want them to actually know the course you want them to have gone through it you want them to be able to talk about your course properly maybe that's what you want to do right so we're going to do that here um so downloadable is you decide whether the people that buy your course can download audios and videos one or the other right so you can have it so that they they can't download now there's a caveat here you got to remember that this is an online platform so that means that if the person is tech savvy and they have tools and that kind of stuff they can always download your videos right but this is to protect your uh, make it harder for them to do it right so that's kind of what uh, that's all about all right so embedded player means if you're going to be using a YouTube URL or a Facebook URL or Vimeo URL for your videos do you want them to be embedded on the site with the link back to the player and the advantage of doing that is that you're going to increase your views on your YouTube link right uh, versus if you don't don't want that then the video is going to be downloaded to the site and it's going to show the actual video locally now that's only an option if you're paying uh, the free account doesn't allow you to um, it's always going to be embedded so this is not disable disableable right all right so access is who has access to the course by default when you first created it, it's new it's not even it doesn't exist it's a it's hidden from view so we'll leave it at that for now and sales and sites let's not worry about that for now let's just click on done and now we have a new course that we just created that's 4999 okay I'm gonna give you a deal here I'm gonna say this course is 1995 and it's gonna be from the first to the 30th of 2020 submit this and I'm gonna reload this page well actually let's go well yeah it won't work I was gonna say go show show you in the other screen but as you can see right here now it's showing you it's 1995 until the 30th now you can there's a I'm working on a new feature right now which allow you to have re, uh, I'm not sure how you want to call this but you a, a, a rotating uh, coupons so you can have a coupon that's good for the whole year but expires every day or expires every week or expires every month with a 
that allows you to make a course like this at a certain price people unless they know the platform and they watch this video here or this this listen to this audio they wouldn't necessarily know and you know that's just a marketing tactic if you will but it's important to have a, a price that is better than the the actual price so that people see that they're getting some value out of it right so now you don't want it to be fake in the sense that it's not actually worth five thousand dollars you want to make sure it's worth that you don't want to you know you got to be careful it's all about marketing right but that's kind of the some marketing tactics right but in any case right now we got this coupon now we don't have any lessons we don't have anything in here you must add at least one lesson before you can publish the course so to add a lesson you just click on the add lesson right here and we're just gonna uh, put a YouTube link let me just go to my YouTube here and I'm gonna take one of these videos here I got some shorter videos let's see uh, here this one here copy link I'm just going to take the YouTube link I'm going to put it right here and I'm not going to worry about anything else because the rest is going to get filled in I'm just going to say save that's the cool thing about putting a YouTube link it'll go and get the title it'll set everything to the same thing though it'll get the title and the summary it'll get the thumbnail <coughs> and then then if I go back to the course here I can see that I have one video here that says zero because it didn't uh, get the everything right yet but it'll have the time it, the video is this video is a 59 second video if I go back here and I just click on this little edit uh, icon I can set it to 59 seconds and oh that's because it's I, I can set it to published and I can change the you know I can just say my first I'm gonna change the title to this and something you might not know about me I know I'll just leave that like this um I had my first computer and actually I could probably let's do that let's go in here let's go in here and get to some of the text I have let's just get all this and paste that in here <coughs> save there you go okay so now uh let's add a second let's add a second course a second lesson in here so now we have one lesson which is my first sync computer lesson number one so the basics the basics of the site is you want to just have so you can click on the plus sign next to the lesson right here or you can click on the big plus green the green plus here and say lesson and it knows that it's inside of a course so I I'm going to create I'm going to put a second lesson here another one from my uh you may not know me next page something you may know or not know about me I'm going to go here get shareable link and I'm going to use that link here uh, you are better off right there okay so now if I edit this I can like as you can see it's downloading thumbnail right now right so now it's updated if I edit this I can go and I'm just going to change that from here and I'm going to add the text from the the video and I'm going to paste, paste that in here and I'm going to set the time how long is it it's a 58 second one so 0 58 and save it and now if I go back to my course now I have two two videos this one here is not published I can click on the publish I think that works <laughs> let me see if that actually works it's been a while since I've tried it yeah update lesson publish lesson okay so if I go back to the course now uh oh it looks like it didn't save the uh okay I gotta fix that here I think I might have uh, forgotten about this depending on what you uh fix but this is save that okay so now if I go back to the the course whoops I didn't want to do that cancel okay so if I go back to the course okay so now in the course I have two lessons obviously you want to have more lessons you want to have it organized you know introduction and the different things but this gives you an idea of how a course works so once I have this course set up I can actually go I'm actually going to edit this course and I'm going to say I'm going to say something you might not know about me because that's actually what those are right uh adding videos from YouTube that are about me 
so things you might not know okay I'm just whoops I should have just said done <coughs> uh, obviously it's not five thousand dollars let's just uh add another deal make this a free I'm going to make this a zero dollars and I'm going to make it end at the end of December 12 31 so uh, as you can see now I have to, I'm going to have two coupons I'm going to show you kind of how that works whoops what happened oh okay so 12 31 I think that there's a bug you can't put a zero here you're supposed to be able to I'm going to try it again just to make sure because yeah okay so I'm going to make it one dollar or let's make it 0 0.01 one penny and 12 31 maybe I can make it zero zero I guess that might work okay so now I have two two deals it says zero zero that's good perfect that's exactly what I wanted uh and it says it's until the 31st it's active right now and if I was to reload this page it'll show me that the current active one is zero right because it's lower than the other one so it basically goes and gets all the deals you have out of the ones that are active from the start date to end date and then it takes the lowest price one so if you have more than one maybe you did it wrong maybe you made a mistake but at the same time it kind of lets you so if you click on manage deals and coupons right here you can actually see um, the two coupons I can delete this one if I want just delete it and now I don't I only have one right now if I was to um okay so now the course is not ready yet it says still not published right now what I can do is I can make this a published course I go and edit it and I change the access up here to public and it just tells me ruining you can't undo it once a course is public you can't make it private because well just how that's how it is but maybe we'll change that but anyways right now that's kind of how it works so now it's public so now what happens is if I go to this link here in my uh in here <coughs> now you can see this course it's zero dollars look at that it's zero dollars I got two videos in it it says right here you must be purchased to click so unlock the course I can click on add to library or unlock the course either one does the same thing because it's a free course oh actually that all right there's a bug that's actually fixed but I haven't updated the live site but basically it, it shows the real price not the deal even though it says zero here it still wants to charge you five thousand dollars for it so I gotta fix that but but yeah normally you'd be able to add that course to your library and then you'd be able to watch it and then then you'd be able to play the videos right that's kind of how that works all right so people will get that uh test uh, adding videos from okay so what I wanted to show you is when you go on here if I play the video let's just pause it here okay so up here you can see there's uh there's your your the title of the video and then it says something you may not know about me I was an amateur photography I click on more right here and see the rest of the text shows up here you can hide it again more hide right <laughs> and that shows you the details of the actual um whatever text you put in the description of the course right of the lesson I mean back to the course and this is a course you can edit you can add more add more lessons you can also add a file if I want to add a file here I just click on add file and the image and then the file itself is right here choose file and say I want to add a I don't know I want to add a an award a certificate I can add images I can add uh, pdf files uh, there's nothing in here that's let's go here if I go to I don't know dot com secrets I might have a soap email sequence a, a pdf right here right how big are these 38k the closes here I'm going to add this these are the closes from uh dot com secrets I think uh, the closes and I'm just going to say right here from dot com secrets now obviously this is something you wouldn't necessarily you wouldn't want to do uh I can actually set a cover picture on this uh let's say I want to uh doesn't really matter let's just use uh, one of these images no did we sign fail there let's just use that I'm going to say save <coughs> and now it's got an image and if I go back to the course 
now I have this the this file here obviously the image that's there is whatever image you want to have if I it's not published I'm going to publish it <clears throat> and now if I go back to the course it's published now the other thing that happens is whenever you add a lesson it doesn't do anything until you publish it once you publish it it shows up in the news feed if I go back to here go to the feed you can see that I published this course right I published this course published a new public course right and I also added this file now it should have shown uh, added lessons oh no it doesn't and when you first publish a course it doesn't show anything about about the lessons <clears throat> it only shows the the uh, the course being created but if I add a lesson or add a file afterwards it shows me added a file with the file itself the course itself and then it kind of shows a description of it if I click on this it takes me straight to that lesson <clears throat> it's actually not available to me right because I'm a anonymous user I'm not even logged in but it does show me the image of it right which is one of the things that uh, Russell Brunson has this is just an example but this is what the um file and less would look like inside of a course right all right so now um let me see I just gotta so um okay so that's the that's the that's the uh files and if I want to add a look here's the thing if I add a new lesson right I can go here plus lesson or file right I click on lesson and I want to add a new one let's go back to here and go back to the next the next video here which is this one get shareable link and I'm going to put that in here right here so I'm just going to save it because I think there's a bug where if you try to do the mold in more than one thing <clears throat> and then I'm also going to um, add the description and then in here I'm going to go and put in the description no not that's not the right one it's this one here this one here okay <clears throat> I'm going to post paste that in here save it and okay so now if I go back and edit it again I just want to make sure I put the time in here this length is one 06 106 now the other thing <coughs> is it's not public yet right it's still set to draft <coughs> uh, the other thing we might want to do here is I have a link see how I have, how I have a link right here so let's just uh, make this a link and make this a link paste that in here the blank submit and save okay so now this is okay so let's go back to the course let's cancel that go back to the course now you can see I have three lessons in my course instead of two one two three right lesson number one lesson number two lesson number three right and this one doesn't is not published so that's why there's a publish button here right I can if I go back to the news feed right here the public news feed it's just showing me that I added this file right this file to the course right so now if I uh, publish this if I just click on the publish link it'll actually publish the course as you can see publish lesson and it shows the published date here and uh, and back to I think I messed up the I must have messed up that so I'm going to edit this I'm going to change it to the right which is one one oh six save okay so now if I go back to the course oh by the way the other thing you can see right here you can actually see your um your statistics right the number of views is 36 that's because I keep clicking back and forth and all that but there's three lessons there's one file and there's the the lesson seconds is three minutes three seconds there's nobody's watched it yet okay so if I go and I I play this actually it'll show you kind of what it looks like see there's the more right here there's hey Jean-Serge Gagnon here so something that you so I've turned the sound off but still we're playing it see seven seconds eight seconds nine seconds ten ten eleven twelve I'm just going to go back to the course 
and now you can see well actually it's done, not updated yet but that should show oh I think maybe because I'm the owner it has to be somebody else that watches it uh, anyways but if I reload this now now we can see that we should see anyways we'll see yep you see look it shows that I added a new so added the lesson so this is the lesson text this is the course it's in and some description of again again it's that's the same thing but it shouldn't be but that's the, the the text that shows up it's whatever you put as text right and it shows me that I added this lesson to the course um, yeah so I mean there's lots more maybe probably to talk about to show you but we're already 50 minutes in this is probably one of the longest episodes I've done in a long long time and uh if you have any questions for sure just reach out and let me know comment you can actually go on the plus here and raise a support ticket just by clicking on support and then over here it'll let you put in a support ticket uh question you can just say question uh question I usually do this uh how do you do x right whatever you want then you submit new ticket it becomes now obviously you don't necessarily want to use that for questions you can reach out other ways uh, there's a contact um actually there isn't any you probably should have a contact right but anyways that's uh, you can use the bot here to contact us just enter here uh a, a question you might have you just go through this and you enter a question that's one way you can that's actually the best way to, for a question if you want to support you've got a problem you've got a ticket you've got a course that's not doing the right thing you've got a problem with it then use the support the other thing you might want to know about is this little uh well actually you can't see it right here uh, let me see um, down the bottom here down on down the bottom here there's this little question mark that looks like a, a video a video right so let me move me to the other side here when you click on that it's going to show you videos that are relevant hey. to the actual page you're on so most of them all have just an about click e-course which kind of shows you the how to use click e-course just watch this video you can play it like this right I'll turn the sound off play it like this and watch it or you can even make it full screen right like that press escape to go back or you can even make it uh, picture in picture so it allows you to move it around on the screen and resize it if you want so that you can actually have it on the side of the screen while you're doing other things right you can click around go to courses but the video well actually disappears when you move the to a different page but yeah and then on this page there's see the courses are <laughs> is he going to stop moving there you go once he's stopped moving All right now this is on the courses page you got three different videos course intro for anonymous for users how to create a course and if there were more you would be able to scroll up and down here more uh, of, of the page but that's that's kind of how this site works um I hope that helped I can close it down here <laughs> and that's kind of how the site works that's how you set up a course if you go to your account you can always go back to courses right here which shows you your courses courses you've added to your library and courses that you've created <clears throat> and there's lots like I said there's lots more I'm gonna have to do lots more episodes to explain different things but if you have any questions reach out let me know and we'll help you and create episodes to explain the things that you're wondering about all right hopefully you enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.